Welcome back to your channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is Hedy back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the Superior OS unofficial based on Android 9.0 Pi for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 3 running the Superior OS. Let me first show you the about device section before showing you anything else. So going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see it's Android 9.0 Pi and the Superior version here it says Nemesis unofficial. As you can see unofficial not the official one. Security patch is of June 5, 2019. That's a great thing. The kernel here is again the Excrema X27 kernel version is 3.10.108. So going back and talking about a few other things like the build date let me show you that as you can see it says Sunday June 23rd 2019 and this is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video and everything else is pretty much similar to other rooms guys there isn't any speciality in terms of this room and other rooms so I'll just be telling you guys about the major things like the Kenzo Sachs again as you can see display color collaboration thing is there over here it doesn't do a major difference over here but yeah that's present here system updater is not there because it's an unofficial one digital well-being is present over here as you can see that bar is not present again over here same like the osip dub fest room which i reviewed recently so going back and talking about the security and location fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well for me let me show you that as you can see it's not the fastest one but it works though as you can see it's a little bit slow but yep it works fine i don't know about goodix device sorry for that and talking about other stuff like the customization option as you can see all the customization options are present over here and it's pretty much similar to the other roms which i have reviewed i'll have a few links in the description do check it out i'll just tell you some of the major ones here like status bar as you can see clock setting is present over here again the similar stuff like show date show seconds etc and talking about other stuff like the on-screen navigation buttons they are there and they are working absolutely well as you can see that's initial lag guys and after that it will work fine when you first enable it it will give a slight lag that's it let me disable that because i like using hardware keys here so going back and talking about other stuff let me show you the lock screen settings as you can see you can customize it a little bit like fingerprint unlock so once you enable this one after reboot the device will directly unlock using fingerprint you need not to put your pattern pin or password face auto unlock if you have set up face id then you need not to swipe up after your face has been directed it will do it automatically for you these are some of the customizations guys it's pretty much similar to other rooms do check the link in the description if you want more information about these wi-fi bluetooth etc everything is working absolutely well i didn't have any issues with those so talking about display option as you can see again all the standard stuff is present over here even the double tap to wake let me try it out as you can see works absolutely well it also gives a haptic feedback there ambient display is on it says over here as you can see but for new notifications it's off let me go into advanced settings and see it's on but not for new notifications nor for always on you can put it for new notification not a big deal always on option is not there here so going into display size it was on default when i first booted the rom like this i set it to large when it is on default the icons are a little bit smaller large looks fine it's not too big or too small for me it's good and you can change the font from here like if it's on roboto you can put it to some other stuff you can see there are a lot of fonts and a bit of lag too as you can see laggy yes it's lagging a little bit so talking about other things like the performance let me show you my last geekbench score really quick so going into the geekbench and the history as you can see guys i've got a score of 3445 for the multi-core and single core score is a little bit low it says 1398 other rooms were able to score at least above 1400 but not with this one and multi-core score is high enough it's 3400 that's a really great score in my opinion but still this room is showing lags here and there yes there are minor lags here and there in the system when you use it extensively i mean if you use it heavily then there are lags everywhere in the system they are noticeable by the way there are minor lags but noticeable lags are there in the system i mean it is not like 100 percent laggy or anything like that but in extended usage you will notice some lags in the system so talking about pubg gameplay pubg gameplay was good enough 
I will not say that it was the best or it was the worst. It was somewhere average in the middle. The graphics were on balance and the frame rate was on medium. No HD option over here. And the gameplay was good enough. You will not notice that there are any major lags or anything like that. Minor lags here and there that are there in almost every room out there. But yep, PUBG performance was good. Not the best or not the worst. So talking about the battery life, let me show you my battery states really quick. So going into battery and the battery states okay here it is when i first booted the rom the device was exactly on 90 percent of charge later on i played pubg for around 40 minutes there the battery drain was somewhere around 12 to 13 percent yes 40 minutes of gameplay 12 to 13 percent of battery drain which is good in my opinion but it says three percent is not at all accurate over here i use youtube for around 10 minutes itself you can keep it as 10 minutes there the battery drain was somewhere around 4%, 4 to 5%, not more than that. So I have used a couple of other applications too over here, music player, etc. It isn't appearing over here. Just to check the sound output. Sound output is good in this room. I'll have the screenshot on my Instagram stories. Or if I just forget to post the screenshot, you can just DM me on Instagram. I will directly send you the screenshot of any room which I have reviewed. And if I have the screenshot, follow me on Instagram at all about technology 24 into 7. It is appearing somewhere over here and link is in the description you can just check it out i have some photographic content over there you can ask me regarding that too and talking about the camera application as you can see again this is the similar camera app which we have seen in other rooms too we get lots and lots of options over here as you can see and that 4k video recording bug is also there let me show you that going into 4k and it's working fine 4k video recording but when you tap on the screen like this camera just first closes that's like default issue in all the pi rooms i haven't seen a pi room where that feature is working it force closes just force closes over there but camera is working fine and 4k video recording is also working fine until you tap the screen like that which i showed you earlier so this was a quick little review of the superior OS unofficial running on the redmi note 3 so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram and facebook i'm active over there you can ask me any questions regarding text this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace